Corla, um, and I welcome uh, to be able to speak on this um, debate. Uh, first of all, I want to say I'm supporting it. Uh, there are a lot of people that bought houses that are caught up in this situation, especially in be it larger towns or cities, and um, when they pay property tax, they also have these fees to pay as well, and there has to be something done, because a lot of these is, would, have, would have bought houses um, at a time when they are, were at a, a high price. Um, as has been said earlier, I think the property tax, in my opinion, is the most unfair tax, at least if you get something for out of, out of a service um, and paying for it. But the property tax is basically you have a mortgage on a house, you might have your tongue out paying for it, and still, um, I think a property tax around this country is very un is not a, it's the most unfair tax. It's a tax on a family home. It's a tax on your bed, in my opinion. Um, the one thing I would like, um, uh, Deputy O'Brien, O'Brien, to um, maybe take into account as well is uh, in the rural areas. And while I fully support his motion, um, I want to make that clear. Um, my sympathies are with people that are caught up in this situation where they have to pay those uh, exorbitant fees as well as a property tax on top of it. But in the rural areas, um, when you go for planning, you pay the same contribution as someone within a town. You don't get um, a septic tank, you don't get sewerage. Um, you have the, if you were in the larger town, at least you might be able to connect to a sewerage. Um, you have no lights and you have no footpaths, and I, I, I've heard you on this evening talking about uh, lights and footpaths and the different services that's in different areas. And unfortunately, if you're, as some people call it, out in the sticks, we call it the most beautiful part of the country in rural parts of Ireland, um, that you are left in a situation that you're paying a property tax, you're paying contribution levies, and I think that a government should look at this as well as what you have put forward there. I support that fully, but I think that they should look at this and not be crippling people to be living in those in rural parts of Ireland, no more than those people as well that are in the cities that are being basically shafted twice through this to try and, and pay one side of the money as well as pay. And like people in the, in the cities, you have to sympathise them as well. The price of the, the, the houses and they are going up for the simple reason we don't have enough of them, and they are putting. And, and that's a government needs to make sure that we don't, you know, a, a pensioner that their father or mother might have got a house years ago or built a house years ago, when some part to be it Dublin or Limerick or Galway was out the country and then a city grew around it. It's not their fault um, that the house became more valuable because at the end of the day, all you can do is live in it if that's your home. Thank you.